Hi everyone, today is Saturday and it's the 28th of February. Most of you probably know, but um, Badger did sadly pass away in his sleep on Thursday night and um, that was due to kidney failure and that was something he had ever since we adopted him and there's nothing you can really do about it in guinea pigs, they will just like go eventually. Pudsey only lived with Badger for about two months which is not long at all and it's, it's so frustrating because we finally found Pudsey a friend and then he passed away so it's just not good really but we are going to do something about that we're not going to leave him as a lone guinea pig because personally I don't think that's right but going back to what I was saying about Badger I do think him and Teddy were from bad breeding stock because neither of them lived until they were two years old which isn't long at all because guinea pigs can live until they're five or even eight that is like the average um, age they live to now as you can see Pussy is on his own and he is coping fine he hasn't really shown any signs of being depressed or really upset um, so he does seem alright, he is eating, he's doing all his normal things but then every so often he'll remember that he's on his own and he'll like remember that Badger's not there anymore and he'll run around squeaking and like looking for him so that's quite upsetting to see and that's the only real sign he's shown of being lonely or like a bit upset um, but other than that he's been doing absolutely fine so yesterday, which was Friday, when I got home from school, we wanted to try and get Pudsey a friend. Um, guinea pigs can become depressed when they lose their companion, especially if they were only as a pair anyway. Um, they can become depressed as they are very sociable animals and if they are on their own, they can get depressed, as I said. Um, so I knew that I wanted to get Pudsey another friend so I was planning on getting him a younger boar because older boars and younger boars tend to be a good combination and they often get on the best, that's like the best chance you've got at getting males to get along with each other. Um, so that was the plan and um, we came home and my mum rang up all the local pets at homes none of them had anything suitable so the reason we decided against getting a younger boar was because it's likely that Pudsey would pass away before the younger boar and then we'd be in the same situation as we are now because then we'd have to find another friend for the younger boar and I just wouldn't like to be in this situation again I just don't like it when I'm left with one guinea pig and like I don't know what to do so we decided that wouldn't be the best option because I wouldn't want another boar to be on his own and then we'd have to find a pair for him and it just wasn't really ideal. So we decided against that idea and then we were considering finding a castrated female to go with him because I think he would get along better with a female. But castrated females are really rare then we were kind of thinking mm, maybe he would be alright on his own and we could have him in the house and he'd get loads of attention and cuddles and all of this but I wasn't really happy with that because I thought well yes he will get a lot of attention but what about the six hours every day I'm at school and I just didn't think it was fair for him to be on his own for that amount of time. So after thinking long and hard about what we should do we decided that the best thing would be to get Pudsey neutered and after seeing how Bramley is with the girls he hasn't been introduced to them yet but he lives alongside them at the moment we're still waiting until he is safe to live with them but after seeing how Bramley has changed we just thought that would be a great thing to do for Pudsey and it would be like the best thing for him because he would love to live with some girls and I know he would adore that 
and he would get along with them so well. Getting guinea pigs neutered, as I've said before, it is risky, but I just think for his quality of life now, it would be worth it if he could successfully live with some females because that would just be the best thing for him and he would adore that. So we are going to go to a guinea pig rescue on Tuesday and we are hopefully going to be coming back with some girls and I say hopefully because um, the guinea pig rescue may want to come here to have a look at the accommodation we have before um, letting us adopt so they may have to do that first but if they are happy with the pictures that we show them then hopefully we will be able to come home with some females so today I am going to be splitting the CNC cage down the middle so Pudsy will have this half and then the girls that we adopt will have the other half back in his half of the cage and he does seem a little bit nervous at the moment but that's completely normal because he has just been put in a completely different cage and it's all new and everything so it will take him a few days to adjust to it but I think when the girls do go in that half of the cage he will be a lot more happy and at least then he will have someone to interact with. <laughs> Today is Monday and we have just got back from the vets so Pudsey has been for a checkup as he will be getting neutered on Friday so he just went for a checkup to make sure he was all healthy and everything so everything was fine and he will be getting neutered on Friday as I said so that is the plan and I actually wanted to share with you some news so I did say in the last update that we were going to be adopting some girls to live with Pudsey and they would live in the split cage with Pudsey um, until they could live together. So that's what we had planned to do but we actually decided to put Miffy next to Pudsey. So that might come as quite a surprise for you because Miffy was adopted with Panda and she has lived with the girls for about two months now but in that time I have not seen her cuddle up once to any of the other girls she was always on her own and 
she just didn't really seem to fit in with the others and there was quite a lot of squabbling between all the girls and I knew it was because of Panda and Miffy and there were four other girls to choose from so I did expect her to cuddle up with at least one of them however I never saw that and she was on her own a lot of the time and her and Panda really didn't get along that well and I think that was causing problems within their group and I did actually see um, Panda hissing at Miffy a lot of the time so they just weren't getting along very well and I didn't think it was fair for Miffy to be on her own when the other girls were getting along very well and cuddling up to each other so I thought it would be a good option to put her next to Pudsy and we did this yesterday so as you know the plan was to adopt two females to go with Pudsy but now we have put Miffy in here that has kind of changed that plan but we do still want to go to the rescue and we're going tomorrow but we are kind of going to the rescue for some advice because we don't really know if we're wanting to adopt just yet or if we should wait a bit longer we don't really know what the best thing to do is so we are going to go there tomorrow and we'll see what happens <laughs> Today is Thursday and Pudsy will be getting neutered tomorrow so I really need to sort out his cage because I'm going to be at school all tomorrow so I want it all to be set up for then and I just want everything to be sorted so I'm going to be doing that tonight and I think I'll just talk to you about going to the rescue now because on Tuesday we went to one of our local guinea pig rescues and we didn't come back with any guinea pigs but we will be going back on Saturday um, to pick up two girls so that is really exciting and I can't wait to go and get them but I think I will explain all about that in my next video probably I'm not sure um, it should be my next video so now I'm going to talk about going to the guinea pig rescue. So we went on Tuesday. So it was really nice to meet all the guinea pigs and hear about their stories. It was quite upsetting to hear some of them because of what they had been through. But it was really nice to meet them all. And just to talk to the people at the rescue was nice because it's always good to talk to people who have the same interest as you. So that was really good. And you're probably thinking, did we come back with any guinea pigs? We didn't come back on Tuesday with any guinea pigs, um, but we are going on Saturday to bring home two girls, which is really exciting, and we just thought it would be a really good thing to do. So we have many different options. We can try and bond them with Miffy and Pudsy, which I think is our plan. Miffy has only been with Quidzy for less than a week so she's still getting used to him but we kind of want to introduce them all together and see how things turn out. Um, so that is the plan and if they don't seem to take to these two then we've always got the other option of introducing them to the herd and um, if that doesn't go to plan we can always just keep them on their own so there are many different options so I think I'm going to end the vlog there and I will be doing updates I think when um, Pudsy has been neutered just so you can see how he is and how it went hopefully he'll be okay thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time bye